Hello Year 4, I'm going to be talking to you briefly today about 24 hour time because some of your maths activities this week um, ask you to calculate 24 hour times for a digital clock. So I'm just going to talk you through it um, and just explain what it means and show you some examples and hopefully that will help. So on the screen I've got um, an analogue clock which is the circular one and then I've got the digital one in the corner which is the black one with the green numbers. Now as you can see at the moment the digital clock actually says 0000. zero, zero, zero. These two little zeros here are just the seconds, we don't need to worry about those ones for now. So 0000, zero, zero, zero is actually when we start counting the time each day. Now remember there are 24 hours in each day which is why we call it a 24 hour clock and 0000, zero, zero, zero is when it begins and that's actually midnight. So it's actually the middle of the night for us but actually that's when the day is beginning again, that's when the hours are starting to be counted again from zero. Now as I move the hands round you can see it's starting to tick round and we'll get to one o'clock and that's one o'clock in the morning and then we get around to two o'clock in the morning and three and you can see the numbers going up on the digital clock. Now if I keep going so this is six o'clock now so that might be when you're getting up if you're an early bird. Six o'clock so it's getting light now, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, okay, nine o'clock you're getting to school. Now if we keep going we'll get to lunchtime. So lunchtime is 12 o'clock and as we can see we get to exactly 12.00 zero, zero on the digital clock here because 12 hours have gone by. Now on a 12 hour clock because you sometimes have 12 hour digital clocks and sometimes have 24 hour clocks and all, all the only difference is is that on a 12 hour clock the hours only go up to 12 and then they can't count anymore so what happens is when you get to the next hour which would be one o'clock in the afternoon it just goes back to one but with a 24 hour clock if I keep going it actually just keeps on counting the hours and says 13 hours so the hours have just kept on counting and instead that number is going to go up all the way up to 24 hours so it's one o'clock in the afternoon if I just take put the 12 hour clock on you can see it says one zero zero but now it says p.m. so remember a.m. is the morning and p.m. is the afternoon so on a 12 hour clock it has to tell you whether it's a.m. or p.m. because otherwise you won't know whether that's one o'clock in the morning or one o'clock in the afternoon. On a 12 hour clock we can work out whether it's a.m. or p.m. because if the hours are over 12 so they're bigger than 12 it must be p.m. it must be the afternoon or the night because it's gone over the 12 hours that we've had in the morning. So then if we keep going we then get to 14 hours which is actually the same as 2 p.m. 2 in the afternoon and we keep going 15 16 17 same as five o'clock 18 19 20 keeping on going now when we get to 23 hours which is actually 11 11 at night if I keep going very slowly here now if I tick over one more minute it would technically be 24 whole hours but actually at the same time as it being 24 hours we need to start again and so you're never going to see 2400 zero, zero on a digital clock because actually at exactly the same time as it is 2400 zero, zero, we need to start back at zero for a new day. So 2359 is the biggest one you will ever find because the next one will go back to zero, 00. And then that's that's midnight again and that's when the day and the hours begin to be counted again. So when you're trying to calculate the 24 hour time, if you're being asked to write something in 24 hour time, all that you need to remember is if it is PM, if it is the afternoon, you need to add on 12 hours to the hours, okay? Because we've had 12 whole hours for the AM, for the morning, and so you just have to add on those 12 hours 
onto the hours that you've got. So if I just keep going around to the afternoon again, here we go. So this time here is three o'clock. OK, now this is three o'clock in the afternoon, 3 p.m. Now, if I wanted to put this as a 24 hour clock, because it is p.m., I'm going to add 12 hours for the morning because there have already been 12 whole hours. Because when we got to 12, then we just carried on counting into the afternoon. But actually, if I want this to be a 24 hour clock, I need to add 12 hours on to the three I have here for the afternoon to show me how many hours I've had since the beginning of that day, which is actually midnight. So three add 12 is 15. So 15 hours have gone past since midnight. OK, 15 o'clock. Now. This works all the way around, even if it's the evening, even if it's night time. OK, if we have nine o'clock, nine p.m., because it is p.m., we need to add 12 hours to make it into the 24 hour clock because there's already been 12 hours in the morning in a.m. So we need to add 12 hours onto the nine that we've just had all the way through the afternoon and the evening to work out the, the 24 hour time. So nine add 12 is 21. So actually there've been 21 hours. We've actually only got three more until the whole day is finished. Now, one thing that's really important to remember is that if you have a number of minutes, so here we've got 10, 10 p.m. OK, so it's the evening. Now, changing this into the 24 hour clock, remember we take the 10 that we've had for the p.m. and we add the 12 hours that have already been in the a.m. So 10 add 12 is 22. So if I flick between here, do you notice that the minutes never change? It's still 10 past. We're not adding any minutes on because it's still only 10 minutes past 10. The only difference is we've changed the hours into a 24 hour format. So we haven't changed the hours, we haven't added hours. Um, we added 12 on, but just to show that there have been 12 hours in the morning. And so this is exactly the same time. The minutes never, ever change when you convert between them. But we've just added on the 12 hours for the morning, which means that we don't have to put that p.m. there because we can tell the hours are over 12. So this is obviously p.m. or the evening in this case, because it's 10 past 10 at night. Now, I'm just going to show you a few more examples of this just so that we can work through them together and hopefully that will help a little bit more. So I've got a few examples on the screen here. I've got 12 hour on the left and 24 hours on the right. Now I've got the time 7.15. Now I've hidden the hours underneath the yellow squares here, but as you can see, I've left the minutes out. Now, why have I left the minutes out? That's because the minutes don't change. Remember that when you're converting between 12 and 24 hours, the minutes never change because you're not actually changing the actual time of the day. You're just changing the clock and what it looks like. So the minutes aren't going to change. The only thing that's going to change is how the hours are written. So this is 7.15 a.m. Now, because it's a.m., it means that it's still the morning. So actually, we haven't had extra hours yet because it's still only the morning. So when it is a.m., the hours stay the same. So it's still 7.15 on a 24 hour clock. And that will tell us because those hours are under 12 that it, it is the morning still. We don't need a.m. to tell us that. So when it's a.m., it stays the same. When it's p.m., though, we need to think that actually if it's 7 p.m., that means that we've had all 12 of those hours from the morning. So we need to add them on to these seven to then work out how many hours in total we've had since the start of the day. So we do seven and we add on 12. So seven add 12 is 19. So 1915. So that shows us because this number is bigger than 12, that it is in the afternoon or the evening. Um, and the PM here that told us to add on 12 hours. So AM tells you to leave it the same. PM tells you to add 12 hours. So having a look at the bottom one, we've got 4.45. Now it's p.m. again. 
That tells us that we need to add on 12 hours for the a.m. since the start of the day. So we do 4, add 12, is 16. The minutes stay the same, 16.45. Because it is p.m., we have added 12. Let's have a look at the next page. Now, there are two rule breakers for this, two times which are nastily tricky. And you just have to remember that they are different. And it's the 12, 12 o'clock hours. OK, because at 12 o'clock a.m. OK, you might see 12 a.m. written down. That's actually midnight. OK, so that is when the day begins. OK, just like we showed on on the other the big clock on the Internet. That's when the day begins. Now, on a 24 hour clock, that's actually written 0000, zero, zero, zero as we saw, because that's when the, the hours start counting again. So actually, if you're given the time 12.00 a.m. and you're asked to change it into a 24 hour clock, you need to remember that the 12 o'clock times break the rules. So actually, this one here, normally, if it's a.m., we would leave it the same. But actually, we don't for this. It's not 12.00 still, even though a.m. normally we leave and we don't change the hours. But for this one, 12 a.m., you need to take away the 12 hours and that's when the day begins. For 12 p.m., that's lunchtime, 12 p.m., the difference is for this one, it actually stays completely the same. So these 12 o'clock hours are really nasty because they break all the rules that we've just learned about adding 12 hours for a.m. Sorry, no, not adding any hours for a.m. and adding 12 hours for p.m. These break the rules because 12 a.m. actually is 0000 because that is when the time begins in the day. So we take away the 12 hours and for 12 o'clock lunchtime, it stays the same. Nothing changes. So very peculiar, those ones. So let me just recap one more time. If it is a.m. and you're changing to a 24 hour clock, then you don't add any extra hours because you're, you're still in the morning. You haven't had those 12 extra hours yet. If it is p.m., you add on 12 hours to the hours that you already have because you've had 12 hours in the a.m., and now you're into the p.m. So you've had seven hours in the in the p.m. part of the day and the 12 that came before that. So you always add 12 hours onto p.m. times and you don't change the hours on the a.m. times, except what were the rule breakers? The 12 o'clock times. If it is 12 a.m., that is actually the start of the day. So you start at zero, 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 zero. If it is 12 p.m., which is lunchtime, that counts because it's because it's the, the, the barrier, because it's the boundary of where a.m. and p.m. splits. It has to go one way or the other. So it's actually a p.m. time, but it is still only 12 hours that have gone by and then it would continue counting. So these boundary times are tricky. So you just need to remember if you come across a 12 o'clock time, think carefully if it's p.m it's actually lunchtime doesn't change a.m that's the beginning of the day think of a.m being the morning the start if it's 12 a.m you need to put it as zero 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 because that is the beginning of the day and that's when the hours begin to be counted tricky okay it's generally very straightforward apart from those two so just keep an eye on those now I'm going to show you a couple of examples, um, a few examples, just um, just a few more, just to go over some of these and convert between them. And then I'll show you um, quickly just the game that you can play to practice this more. OK, so I've got a few examples here just to work through. I'll do a few and then you can help me do the others. Um, so in the first section, we are converting from 12 to 24 hours. And the second section, we're going to go backwards from 24 hour to 12. 
Okay, please excuse my ripped paper down the bottom here. I tried to, to rip it and it wasn't very successful. So, so I ended up losing a corner. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't change the maths. So here we go. 12 p.m. Now remember, if it's a 12 o'clock time, it's a rule breaker. 12 p.m. Okay, it's actually when it ticks over into the afternoon. So 12 p.m. That actually stays the same as 24 hour. Okay, that's one of the rule breakers. Remember, if it's a.m., it goes back to zero, zero. And if it's p.m., it just stays the same because that's just lunchtime. Over here, 10.30 p.m. Now, because it's p.m., we need to add 12 hours. Okay, so the 30 minutes is going to stay the same, unchanged. But now we need to add on 12 hours to the 10 that we've already got here for the p.m. So 10 add 12 is 22. Okay, this one, 3.20 a.m. 3.20 a.m. Because it's a.m., nothing needs to change, okay? Because there hasn't been any extra hours we need to add on because it's still only in the morning. So that one stays the same. Right, have a go at these ones. 12.05 a.m. Well, it's one of those tricky ones. Remember, the 12 o'clock ones break the rules. PM one stays the same, but what did the AM 12 o'clock one do? Give you a few seconds to think about it. And if you'd like to pause the video, you can to have a think and then I'll write in the answer. OK, so remember the 12 a.m. one is when the, the day starts, the hours start counting. So that one is actually zero hours, but we do still need to have the five minutes because the minutes never change. So that's five past the first five minutes of the day, five past midnight. OK, what about this one? Have a go at this one. Now it's p.m. So remember what happens normally when we've got a p.m., what we need to add on, what would this time be. Give you a few seconds, pause if you need longer. Okay, so we need to add on 12 because it's p.m. So 7 add 12 is 19. Minutes will stay the same. We don't need to write a.m. or p.m. in any of these because the whole point of putting it in a 24 hour clock is that we can tell whether it's the morning or the afternoon. And then this one, 5.25 p.m. Because it's p.m. we need to add 12 hours on. So what time would it be? We add 12 onto 5, which is 17. And the minutes stay the same. OK, now this bit down the bottom, we're going back the other way, um, which is sounds tricky but actually it's not too bad because you just need to remember that if it is over if it's 12 hours or over okay so 12 hours or more then it's it's actually a, a, P, a p.m time okay so any any times here which have hours that are, are bigger than 12 will be a p.m time and we will need to write a.m or p.m this time because we're changing it back to a 12 hour clock so this one, 1643, now it's bigger than 12, so it's a p.m. time. So if it's a p.m. time, what we need to do is we actually need to take away the 12 because we're working backwards this time. We need to do the 16 hours, take away 12 for the morning to just tell us how many there have been in the afternoon. So 16 take away 12 is 4 and again the minutes stay the same. And then we need to put a p.m. So we put a p.m. because the hours are greater than 12. And we've taken away the 12 hours for the morning just to tell us purely how many hours have been in the afternoon. And we're writing it in a 12 hour clock. OK, now this one here, 2.30. This one, the hours are not greater than 12. So it's still only an a.m. time. 
All right, and remember, if it's an AM time when we're changing to 24 hours, it doesn't actually change. So when we're changing it back, again, it's not going to change because it's AM. But we just need to remember this time that we need to put ooh, an AM sign there to show us that it is the morning. OK, now I just want to have a look. Actually, let's just have a look at them all quickly. We've got time. So 5.20. OK, the, the hours are not 12 or higher, so it's not a p.m. time, which means it's an a.m. It's a morning. And remember, if it's an a.m., it hasn't changed when it goes to 24 hours here because we've only had the morning. We haven't had we haven't had anything else. So this one stays the same. And I wonder if you're able to have a look at this one. This one of those tricky ones. Remember, it's one of those ones where the time starts again. Now in these, I don't know why we're really missing the colon, but there should be a colon in between the, the zeros there. So we've got zero, 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 zero. So no minutes, no hours. How would we write that on a 12 hour clock? So zero, 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 zero is actually midnight. Now, do you remember how we write that down? There's two rule breakers. The 12 p.m. one stays the same because it's just starting in the afternoon. But the 12 a.m. one is the one that goes back to zero, zero. So 12 a.m. is midnight. And that is the same as zero, 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 zero. Last two here. We've got 20, 40 and 21 with no minutes. Now, both of these are bigger than 12, so we're in definitely in the afternoon. In fact, we're even further in the evening. So to get back to the just the simple 12 hour clock, we can't have times that are bigger than 12. So we need to just just say how many hours we've had in the afternoon and then put p.m. So 20 take away 12. What's 20 take away 12? is eight and the minutes stay the same we need to remember to put p.m though this time to show us that it's not the morning 8:40. it's the the evening and then this one 21 again it's bigger than 12 so it's a p.m so we need to take away 12 to get back the other way 21 take away 12 what's that Twenty one take by twelve is nine, so this is actually nine PM night. Now, if you'll notice, what I've done here is that when it is only a single digit, I've still put a zero first because it holds holds the space. I actually haven't done it up here, but I add the zero in. Sometimes you do find that you'll just have a single number on your digital clock. Um, but quite often there'll be a zero filling the space where there are no tens at the moment just because the computers tend to work like that and they have to put something there so they'll put a zero okay so you're you're mostly put put a zero first if it is just a single digit because generally that's how computers will will do it because that's how they work now i'm going to show you a game which you'll probably be familiar with which will help you even more with your digital time practice so we're back to my favorite game these telling the time games of the bear. Now, if you Google other time games, um, I'm sure there are some other ones out there that you can play, but honestly, these this range of games is the best for practicing time, I would say, because it covers lots of things. So for this one, we're going to have a look at, I'm gonna put it on level four for now, um, and I'm gonna choose 24 hour clock. So if you play this game again, choose the 24 hour one this time, okay? And I'm gonna go on to untimed so I can talk you through a couple. So when you play it on the 24 hour clock, it tells you underneath the, the analog clock, the big round one, whether it's AM or PM. So this one says AM. So you need to first of all work out what the time is, okay? So remember that the hours come first on the digital clock. So look at the red hand. Now, the red hand is not bang on five, but it's still working through the hour of five. So five is the hours 
And then the blue hand, which is the minutes, the long one, the mighty minute hand, is on the five. So we, it's not five minutes. Remember, it's it, the minutes have counted round from 12 in five. So actually, it's five, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes. OK, so it's five, 25. Now, because it is, is a.m., OK, it's just the morning time. We don't need to add 12 hours for the afternoon. Remember, if it's a.m., it stays the same. So actually, we're just looking for 525. OK, so another a.m. one. Now for here, we've got the red hour hand is very nearly at 10, but we're not at the hour of 10 yet. We are still working through the ninth hour here. So it's nine and we're on the eight which if we count from the 12, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So 9, 40. Now, again, it's a.m., which means we don't need to add any hours. So it's just 9, 40. OK, so this is a p.m. time. So we look at the hours. So we're working through the, the first hour here, the hour of one. OK, it doesn't need to be bang on one. But as, as long as it's working all the way through until it's two o'clock, it's going to be one on the digital clock. So we've got one here and then we're on the four. So think of four lots of five, five, 10, 15, 20. So one twenty. Now, the difference this time is this is a p.m. time. So if it's p.m., we need to add 12 to the hours. So it's still going to be 20, but we need to do one here, add 12. 1 add 12 is 13, so 13, 20. So I'll pop the link for this underneath the video. You should be able to find it um, if you've played it before anyway, but I'll pop the link there just so that you can find it easily. Do have a go because, again, it's just a brilliant way of um, practicing this over and over again in a different context. And I hope that really helps with your work this week. Enjoy the sunshine. Hopefully it will be out and we can splash in our paddling pools while thinking about our 24-hour clocks. Speak to you soon. Bye.